What's up, YouTube? It's Lee again. I'm making another response video. Uh, I found this on the YouTube today, uh, going through one of my going through my uh, subscriptions. I probably found the most ridiculous video that I've seen in like six months, and I've seen a lot of ridiculous videos because there are a lot of dumb people out on the YouTubes. And uh, <laughs> this one is called uh, I have it written down here: AMWB rant. Uh, do Asian men have small penises? And this kid, uh, I, I believe his name is, he goes by Dave Sarche, or, but the subscription is David Chu. I don't know what his real name is or anything. And um, I've seen this kid in a couple of uh, video debates. Um, he could, he's supposedly some sort of like, like a Christian, um, but he's essentially making uh, videos um, about dick sizes. So I don't know how that all plays into it, but uh, I couldn't help but watch it, and I'm literally just like, like this, just like shaking my head, you know, face in my hands, and watching this kid trying to come across as, you know, this uh, this sort of cool, tough guy, you know. Um, so I'm going through it, and I, I wrote some stuff down, and I just had to touch on this. Um, because it's, it's pretty stupid. Um, so first of all, he opens up, uh, he goes, you know, yeah, this, my name is Asian Dave, you know, better known as Fanatical for Jesus. And, and I want you to keep that in mind, you know, because like I said, he's supposed to be like this Christian guy, you know, but um, he opens up with, you know, like, yeah, Asian Dave here, I'm Fanatical for Jesus, you know, and all that kind of, and all that kind of stuff, which is pretty hilarious in and of itself. But, um, so he he opens up with uh with saying you know this is this is a real controversial topic you know and, and i'm thinking to myself like really i mean I, I i i'm half asian you know and so you know i've heard pretty much every every uh every joke every stereotype whatever but i'm also half puerto rican so i've <laughs> i've heard it all you know i think i have a good idea uh, of what of what jokes you know what, what jokes are said and what stereotypes, but controversial, hardly, you know, I, I, I failed to see a stereotype about dick size controversial in any sense. Um, maybe controversial to him because this is something that maybe he's dealing with, you know, people making jokes at his expense or something, but, um, for the rest of the adult world, it's probably not a big deal. Um, so he gets into it saying, you know, uh, he comes across like this is some sort of new sort of phenomenon, like some new joke or something. Like, yeah, it's just it's a stereotype. I'm just going to put it out dead, you know, that Asian men have small penises and, you know, blah, blah. And he goes, and then he goes on to say, uh, I, you know, pe <laughs> people are, maybe it comes from the people that are ignorant in America and stuff. And it's kind of like, what the, f what the hell are you talking about here? <laughs> um, you know, he tries to come across with a lot of bravado, you know, he's probably in his twenties, he's probably in college, um, he's, you know, out there meeting people and girls and stuff, kind of discovering himself, and, and, you know, it's just, this whole video is just layered with him trying to make himself feel better about himself, you know, if, if you, if you can look beyond all the, all the other crap, it's just really an angry guy that, um, you know, that wants to uh, have, you know, show a little more machismo, you know, to shore up any insecurities that he has. You know, two minutes in, he's like, "Yeah, most of my, most of my friends are women, and <laughs> I grew up around women, and everything is like, you know, no, 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 you know, nothing, nothing applies to you because you know, you, yeah, yeah, I'm the, you know, and it's just ridiculous. That's just two minutes in um, on the seven minute video, and he says. um, you know, he, he got offended by by some girl he was talking to or something, and she had said to him, apparently, allegedly, that I wouldn't even feel you. And he's like, and he says to her, well, it, if you can't feel me, your pussy must be too big. And he's like, yeah, I just put it out there, you know. And it's another layer of him, you know, in his uh, attempt to, you know, make himself feel more like a man, at least either to her or the YouTube audience, apparently. And he goes on to say some pretty misogynistic things. And this is the part that's pretty obvious that he's an angry guy when it comes to women. Um, you know, he's he's saying, he literally says, if 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 you can't, and when, 
when we're having sex, if you can't feel me, then you're a fucking whore. And I'm just kind of like, like, what? You know, and he, he uses this really rough language. And it's just really, it makes it really evident that, you know, he's had some pretty hurtful experiences in his life, you, you know. And then at about 2.49, and he just goes, you know, if that's not you, then, then don't be angry, you know. But if it applies to you, then, you know, it fits and kind of thing. And it just should be painfully obvious at this point. And again, we're not, again I'm not even halfway through the video that this is just like, an, like a guy who seems just really angry at women, you know. And it... It becomes apparent well, the longer you watch it, if you can even stomach it, um, how he really feels about it, about women, you know, in a lot of ways. It's like, um, it's just kind of sad, really. Uh, and he goes on to, he, he goes on to guys, you know, and he says, he, he well, first he says, you know, all the women I know, you know, uh, all the good women kind of thing aren't, aren't obsessed with, with penis size, but guys are. Guys are fully obsessed with penis size. And I kind of get what he's saying in the sense that, you know, it, culturally speaking, you know, it's like, yeah, my, mine's bigger than yours kind of thing. But he's making a seven-minute video about penis size. He's, the irony is that he's saying, um, you know, all oh, men, men this, men that, men are obsessed with penis size. Well, bro, you're making a seven-minute video about dick size. So, you know, that's a little bit of an irony pill, I think. Um he also says, he, he also goes, if anybody else makes a comment about it, about the stereotype or makes a joke, you know, I'll put him on blast. It's another one of those things, yo, yo, I'll put him on blast. That's just how I am, you know, and that kind of thing. And it's like, dude, ch chill out, homie, okay? You know, I mean, come on. Um, you're not putting anybody on blast anywhere, <laughs> you know? And then he goes on to say, you know, all those guys in the, you know, all those guys in the locker room, you know, when they, when they whip it out and this and that, and, you know, and if you make a, if you make a comment, you're gay, and if you make a joke about penis size, you're gay, and and everybody's gay, and you know, and it's kind of like, uh, the lady doth protest too much, I fear, you know, <laughs> like, <laughs> you, again, you're making a seven minute video about dick sizes and the stereotypes, and then you're like, well, if anyone makes a comment about it, then they're gay, or if anyone makes a stereotype joke, they're gay. And it's like, I, I, I don't know where, you know, I don't know. It just seems ironic to me. Um, he, sa he says, if anybody makes a joke or anyone, you know, um, or anything like that, or, you know, th they have homosexual tendencies. And I'm just kind of like, you know, no. Some, some guys are just stupid, you know. Um, people make jokes about all sorts of things. And, I mean, I, <laughs> I, 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 it's probably more of an insecurity issue than, than a, a, a latent homosexuality issue. But... It's really, it's really arrogant um, of you, David, to say that, you know, you know what other people think. You know, if, if somebody makes a, a comment, they must be gay. Or all, you know, the women you know um, don't care about penis size. Well, you don't, you don't know what women think. And you don't know what other men think. You know what you think. And it, it's clear to me, at least, I think, that there's a little bit of projection here. I mean, um... You know, you just, like I said, uh, you, you probably, you're probably in college, you know, you're in about your 20s, and then, you know, there's a lot of bravado going on, and so it's just kind of, dude, you need to chill out and mature a little bit before you can start telling people what they think. Um, and then, the lastly, he gets into some other couple things. Um, he talks about, uh, don't use the word exotic when it comes to Asian women. And... He's, ref he's using it in the same context as if the uh, exotic is in reference to objects. And, you know, you, you're in college now, so you have to learn that, I mean, he, that words are, you know, you may consider an insult. Ex exotic it is, is not necessarily uh, an insult. In fact, I've never heard it used as an insult. Um, but they're not, it's not like saying oriental where you're referring to an object and that's how you're taking it, you know. And even you kind of backpedal a little bit and you say, well, I know that it's, um, I know that it's, you mean well, but, you know, don't use that word or, you you know. And it, Well, no, you can't tell people what to do and not to do. I mean, that's stupid. Um, you know, exotic in this sense meaning, you know, uh, different, you know, uh, than, you know, what's culturally, you know, around them. You know what I mean? Like, that's, it's from faraway land kind of thing. 
it's not meant to be like like they're an alien or or some kind of weird animal or something. So I don't know. I think that's kind of a stupid, honestly. That's kind of a dumb thing I think to be angry about. Out of all, out of all the things you could be angry about, like that's the thing, you know. Um, you're worried about the word exotic, but you're calling women whores. I mean, come on, dude. You know, I mean, grow up a little bit. Um, you mentioned something about the word, the term yellow fever, which is, you know, I guess when uh, when somebody has a thing for Asians or something, or an attraction for Asians, they have yellow fever and and whatever. I I really don't have an opinion on that. Like, I don't care. You know, it's no different to me than. Um, than anything, than anything else. I mean, you know, um, it, 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 that, that, I don't care about that. <laughs> that doesn't bother me, but, um, you end your video with the stupidest kind of, kind of sign off, you know, you're like, yo, this is Dave, the Asian sensation, and this and that. I mean, you don't, <laughs> you go through this, this whole video about, um, stereotypes and and this and that you know and then you use like the stupidest like most common like Asian sensation Asian persuasion and it's like that's just that's the same kind of stuff I mean it th the point is if you don't want things to be defined by race you know you, you don't get to p pick and choose you know it it's you should really just I mean it, it this seems like a, a maturity thing honestly it seems like you need to grow up a little bit you need to get a little more experience with women um, you know, they're not whores because they don't, you know, they don't like you or they don't think you're cute or this and that. And I get that some women, you know, can be a little cold. You know, I, I've been subjected to this sort of thing, but I mean, your opinion is really immature. It's really asinine. You don't have enough experience. And I like to go full circle here and say fanatical for Jesus AKA, that's your AKA, also known as Fanatical for Jesus. And you just spent over a little over seven minutes making a video about calling women whores, um, other men are gay for, for making dick jokes, and you just literally, <laughs> Fanatical for Jesus? Where do you, where's all this stuff in the Bible? You know, where, where's all this stuff in your Sunday school where, you, where you're learning this stuff? Or, you know, when you go to Mass... You know, where do they teach that in the sermon? I mean, come on, dude. This is the most hypocritical bullshit I've seen in a long time. It's completely ridiculous. You need to grow up, man. Uh, this is Lee. Hey, if you don't like it, you can feel free to comment. Make another video. It's all good. Um, but, you know, just, you really need to grow up a little bit, man. Later.